Hello, it's me, Knoopsy, and this is Dell's new Skylake XPS 15 9550. Not only one of Dell's best laptops ever, but one of the best overall laptops of late 2015 and 2016 so far. The model that I have has a 6-generation Skylake Intel i7 processor, which is quad-core, and 2.6GHz. There's also 16GB of DDR4 RAM, a GTX 960M with 2GB of VRAM, and a 512GB PCIe SSD. This specific model retails for $2,099, but is currently on sale for $1,899. But if you wish to get a cheaper model, there are plenty of options on Dell's site or the Microsoft Store to configure screen resolution and internal hardware. It weighs about 4.4 pounds and is 17 millimeters thick at its thickest point, making it easy for carrying around and it's not really too heavy at all. The design of the XPS 15 is excellent. It is simple, clean, and modern with both premium machined aluminum, carbon fiber, and high quality plastics. This is one aesthetically pleasing and great feeling laptop. Opening up the laptop with one hand is almost possible. So close. But once it's open, the first thing that you'll notice is the stunning 15.6 inch ultra sharp 4K Infinity Edge touchscreen display. The bezels are ultra thin making the images go right to the edge of the display and for someone like me working on an older MacBook Pro, such thin bezels are just outstanding. It's 4K making it ridiculously crisp and clear so sharpness and clarity is very impressive. Colors are extremely vibrant and punchy, and when I say vibrant, they are very vibrant on this display. Blacks are also pretty dark, but the display should be a bit brighter. Viewing angles are good, but at some angles the display gets a bit pink looking, but this isn't really something that's too bothersome. The display is also glossy on this unit, making it a bit too reflective in some situations, so if you want a model with a matte display, you will lose out on the touchscreen. But speaking of touch, touch response is perfect. Overall, the display is outstanding and something you'll definitely be impressed with. A total wow factor for this laptop. Beneath the display is sort of where the collected bezel resides. It's not too bothersome, but one issue is a 720p webcam placement. It's placed beneath the display into the left, making for somewhat awkward recordings and video chats, especially if you have something in your nose that you don't really know about. And if it is low enough, you can actually start to see the keyboard, a small consequence of such thin bezels, but I think the trade-off is well worth it. The keyboard and trackpad are great. The keyboard travel is nearly perfect and it's really nice and easy to type on and get used to. It is backlit with two levels of brightness and not really as bright as a MacBook Pro or the Surface Book, but at night, it'll do the job fine. The layout is perfect, the spacing between keys is great, and the palm rest is a coated carbon fiber that feels fantastic when typing. For the trackpad, it's extremely responsive and the click is satisfying. No doubt, one of the best trackpads I've ever used on a laptop. It just feels like absolute precision when clicking. For ports, we have the charging port, a USB 3 port, a full HDMI port, and Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C port, which can be used for a variety of things including charging, connecting displays, and more if you have the right cables. And lastly on this side, a headphone jack. The other side has less ports, but it has a Kensington lock port, a battery status button similar to what is found in the MacBook Pro, another USB 3 port, and an SD card slot. The speakers on the XPS 15 are located on the bottom of the laptop, and they sound pretty good. They could use a bit more bass, but overall they do the job very well. Daily performance on this laptop is super snappy. Read speeds are excellent and write speeds are good with the 512GB SSD, and testing the CPU and GPU with Cinebench leads to admirable scores. This laptop isn't primarily aimed towards gamers, but it does a great job with many titles. Minecraft runs perfectly smooth in the highest settings and even the highest render distance. Counter-Strike Global Offensive is nice and smooth as well, even on the full 3840 by 2160 resolution, and definitely enjoyable to play. For titles like these, it handles them perfectly with the GTX 960M, but anything much more graphic, expect a bit of lag. The fans on this laptop would only come on under intensive tasks, like gaming, and the computer would only get hot near the hinge and under the keyboard while staying very quiet and cool for the majority of the time. With the 84 watt hour battery, you can expect about 6 to 8 hours of moderate and mixed usage, or around 4 hours of continuous usage. A bad example of battery performance would be playing Counter Strike for an hour straight, and I did, and it took the battery down to about 50%, but that's a very extreme case. Compared to some other laptops that I've tested, the battery on this laptop is excellent, especially standby. Standby is amazing. I've had the laptop on sleep for days and would still have plenty of juice when woken up. And lastly, charging takes about 2-2.5 two to two and a half hours, and if you're using a laptop for anything like graphically intensive tasks or gaming or video editing, I definitely recommend to have it plugged in. 
To conclude, Dell's XPS 15 is a perfect example of an outstanding Windows laptop. It has a beautiful build, a stunning display, a good trackpad and keyboard, awesome battery life, and great overall performance. It's a bit pricey, but compared to its competitors, it'll be hard to find an amazing Windows laptop. You know what? Scratch that. An amazing laptop as good as this. In other words, Dell is absolutely killing it in the laptop game. What do you think of the Dell XPS 15 9550? Leave a comment below with your thoughts. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.